Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafor and today I'll be showing you guys how you can detail a realistic human hand in less than 10 minutes. So the things you're going to be needing for this tutorial is um, you can have use a hand if you have that but I'm going to leave a link in the description where you could download this hand. Also the alphas we're going to be using for this tutorial are basically not free. Um, so you can avail it. The link will be in the description. Um, so let me show you guys how this works. It's pretty easy and amazing. Um, okay, so let's say we, you have a nice hand already and you just basically want to add details. Um, so let's do that. So selecting your hand, um, let's go to our modifier stack and add the multi res resolution modifier and we'll just subdivide it a couple of times. Okay. And Depending on the capability of your computer, you can go really high. If not, you can just leave it in a manageable number. Okay, so once you do that, we can just jump into the sculpt mode um, by clicking on this and selecting sculpt mode. Okay, so now with all the details we we added, now we can basically just really put in fine details. So th this is going to be really helpful for the next process. So let's just grab our basic draw brush um, go into we can either press bring up our header and bring up the two menu okay and then we just basically go to the texture hit new so we'll leave everything as default and then we go to this texture panel here and press open so you just go if you have downloaded the textures then you can go where you saved it so I have mine here human hands okay so once you download it you I really organized it into um, sections and I also provided preview image and the high quality alpha so um, the PSD file is the high detailed one and you also have a preview image in case you cannot preview the PSD file okay in case you don't know PSD basically means Photoshop file um, so let's select let's start with this one so you just select that and so if you try to paint it in you can see nothing happens that's because you need to go to the stroke and set the stroke method to anchor okay so now you will notice if I drag this you can see what we have here so let me just rotate this in a more better way Okay, just um, just trying to make it look um, really good. Okay, so um, you can see we have really nice fine details that you have spent like hours trying to really get this in. And this is actual human details. So I actually got it from human, um, from different human beings. <laughs> um, so that's how basically that's basically how you can use it so let's the effect is really much here so let's redo that um, let's redo that uh, just rotate it this way okay okay so let's go back to the sculpt mode and make sure we have everything set up I think we don't need to do that again. Um, textures, ZBrush. And make sure you're selecting the PSD file if you're trying to get really fine details because this works too, but um, it's very low resolution. So this is the high resolution. And don't worry, it's not crazy large file, it's manageable file. Um, so as we did earlier, we select it and make it anchor. So um, one thing you want, to, you want to also do is under this alpha, you just want to click on calculate. So you, you can see the difference. It's going to give you very fine details. So we can just drag it. Let me reduce the strength to 0.3. 
So this is the fun part. You just uh, drag your alphas, and we have a couple of um, for that same area. We can select this one. So you want to just try so many so it doesn't look so perfect, and you can always um, switch from the two. And we also have one for the thumb. That would be this one. So as you can see the preview. And just place it here. Okay. Um, so let's skip detailing. We can select more for the top part. Um, that's this guy. So as you can see, it works perfectly and fits. All you just need to do is apply it and within minutes you get really realistic details okay um, so let's try to fill in these areas because the, there's kind of some wrinkles going on here so let's do that we'll just select it uh, right here um, I selected the preview so you should be careful um, so if you see the norm 06 preview then you want to select the right one So that is good. Um, let me reduce the strength. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting that fine detail around here. Just place it. So don't forget the link will be in the description. Um, you could support this channel that way and it's really handy like it works it works like jam like because spending hours trying to really sculpt in other details are pretty much waste of time because you will never get it to look realistic even in big movies they do they use stuff like this to speed up their workflow and really get fine details final details into the model okay so I like how it's looking let's continue let's add more details um, we'll select this one the 07 for this area of the hand so as you can see everything is being thought of I actually created this for myself and I for a project which I'm currently working on and I'm trying to look at all the parts of the hand and basically try to photograph um, stuff that matches that area Okay, so we need another one to just add some randomness to the whole image. Okay, um, it's looking really great. So um, we can continue and let's fill up this place. So let's grab this image. Um, let's make sure we have the right one. So you want to select the 08 PSD and then we can instead of using the anchor we want to use airbrush so what we can do is we can basically spray it um, so it's not looking really good um, I also have another one for that you can select the skin ledry it works much better um, let's reduce the strength to point 0.1 and you can just paint it in um, let's invert it so let's paint in those fine details Okay. So this is like the first layer of the skin. Let's add 
the second layer um, of the pores so you want to grab the skin PSDF and let's increase the strength and now you see it's, it's giving us like um, like bumpy skin stuff that looks like this um, so you can reduce the strength scale it down a bit and just paint it in Okay, so let's go to this area. This area, so let's smooth that out. For this area, you can see it will be. You will see how is it for you to achieve really nice looking hand. So we will set it back to the anchor um, stroke type, and let's select the palm. So as you can see, I have two palm here. Um, let's select this one. So we'll select the fourteen p s d f, and all we need to do is just drag it. Okay. Um, let's set it back to add so you can just drag in the hand okay um, so what you want to do is grab the what brush again this the what is it what is it okay the crease brush <laughs> and so that you can actually sculpt in detail so you using alpha doesn't mean um, you're not sculpt in some little details in some places so I'll just do that here so it can increase the realism of the whole process okay so add some details here so just some landmarks okay um, you may want to spend more time on that um, we can just grab the inflate, inflate brush and bring out some more details anyway so let's just move on um, let's keep adding the details let's add um, let's select the 017 for the wrist area so everything is being cut off all you just need to do is drag it here so this is trend as you can see it matches so you can always refine it um, so let's keep adding let's select um, is this guy oh. every brush here you actually need it it all works perfectly I'm looking for okay this number 15 so for this area we can just basically drag it in and you can use the same alpha let's turn off the X mirror I wonder what that has done Okay, so we can grab the this brush and also use it for this area. Okay. The X mirror messed up this. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it's coming along. As you can see, it's coming along really nicely. If you spend more time with it, you'll get really nice result. Um, yeah, so let's grab the. I also have like finger details and fingerprints. So let's select it fingerprint and just add it. And basically just drag it onto here. And just put music 
and just enjoy doing this we didn't mean it to get really nice looking hand yeah so that's it uh, just before we go let me just show you um, one I did I'll just open the file this actual project I'm um, trying to create um, this one I already textured mine texturing it is not really difficult um, Okay, let's try to preview it in Eevee. The details really holds up. And when you're done, you can just bake out the map um, onto texture and you can use it as low resolution textures. It works in ZBrush, works in Modbox, works in Blender, of course. Um, so as you can see, um, here's it. If you really take time, you can really achieve very um, realistic details. Yeah. yeah, so that's it guys. Please, please, please try to get the product to really help me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video anyway, um, hit the like button and if you wish to see more for me, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you're new, I don't really, I don't usually sell product. I actually put out helpful content, but um, I just think this would be really helpful to you guys. So I just decided to put it out there. So thank you again for watching. Bye bye for now. See you next time.